hi hello everyone so welcome to the channel so in this video we are going to discuss the proof of the famous theorem Pythagoras theorem it is also called as Bodhayan theorem so which is named after the Indian mathematician and it is also called as Gogu theorem so which is named after the Chinese mathematician right so all these three theorems states the same thing so what is the statement of this theorem and where this particular theorem is valid so these all are the things that we are going to discuss and how this theorem came into existence so that we are going to discuss right so first of all we are going to have the statement the statement of this theorem is so in a right angle triangle so always it is applicable for a right angled triangle so in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse so square of the hypotenuse which is nothing but the side opposite to the right angle is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides so the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides so this is nothing but the statement of Pythagoras theorem or Bodhayan theorem or Gogu theorem right now let us see the proof of this Pythagoras theorem right so for that what we need to do is we need to consider a right angled triangle right I am going to consider a right angled triangle so this is my right angled triangle so where this is my right angle and I am going to consider the name of this triangle as A B C so clearly angle B is my right angle okay now since we are talking about the proof so in this what is given so given a triangle ABC so given a triangle ABC in which angle B is equal to 90 degrees so angle B is equal to 90 degrees next so what is the thing that I need to prove here so what is required to prove so I need to prove that this hypotenuse square so from the statement so what is hypotenuse so hypotenuse is nothing but side AC so AC square is equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides so AB square plus BC square so to prove this particular statement so we need to have some construction work right so we need to do some construction so construction is nothing but the additional things that we consider for the given things right so construction so what is the construction that I am going to do is from B I am going to drop a perpendicular onto AC from vertex B I am going to drop a perpendicular onto the side AC such that it meets AC at D right so what I did draw BD perpendicular to AC so what I did draw BD perpendicular to AC so this is my construction now let us see the proof of this particular thing so to prove this so first of all we are going to make use of the similarity concept here so for that so keep following this now for suppose if you observe this particular triangle so in this triangle we are going to have totally three right angle triangles the first right angle triangle is the biggest one triangle ABC and next I do have ADB triangle as right angle triangle and CDB triangle as one more right angle triangle now just to follow what I am telling you right now in this particular triangle ABC if I consider this triangle so if this angle as theta now already we know that this angle B is 90 degrees so if this is theta and this is 90 obviously angle C becomes 90 degrees minus theta okay so this is theta angle B is 90 angle C is 90 minus theta so we have got a clarity about these three angles now let us move on to the triangle ADB in triangle ADB if you observe so already we know t angle A is theta and near ang near point D what is the angle formed it is 90 degrees so obviously this particular part so which I am showing so this part becomes 90 degrees minus theta so if 
this is 90 degrees minus theta then obviously this part becomes since this total angle is 90 then this part becomes theta now if you observe these three triangles so what are the triangles so triangle abc triangle adb triangle bdc if you observe these three triangles then we can clearly see that this phrase is following theta 90 degrees and 90 degrees minus theta so this particular thing is common in all the three triangles right so by using a a similarity so by using a a similarity what i can say so i can say that triangle a b c so why i am considering triangle a b c theta 90 90 minus theta so triangle a b c is similar to next what is the other triangle following the same configuration theta 90 90 minus theta it is a d b so here the order is very very important right so triangle a b c is similar to triangle a d b is similar to next what is one more triangle this is theta this is 90 this is 90 minus theta so clearly what is the order b d c so triangle b d c now triangle a b c is similar to triangle a d b is similar to triangle b d c right so these three triangles are similar to one another by a a similarity concept now what we can say since all the three triangles are similar to each other so you can take two two at a time right so for that what i am going to do is i am going to consider the first triangle so the biggest triangle and i am comparing this with the first smallest triangle so triangle abc is similar to triangle adb so using these two similar triangles so i am going to have their proportionality condition right the same way I am going to consider one more concept condition so triangle ABC and the triangle BDC so from this what I can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC so we are having two different conditions so based on these two similarities we are going to have their sides as proportion right then what I can write this as since these two triangles are similar to each other then their sides are proportional how can I write them as so first two sides so which is nothing but AB by AD so AB by AD is equal to next two sides by next two sides so BC by DB is equal to AC by EAB now since these two triangles are similar to each other so we can write down the sides are proportional right so based on this now since I need a B square right so for that what I am going to do I am having AB in, the, in this denominator and in this numerator that means we are going to compare these two ratios then from that what I am going to get on taking cross multiplication I am going to get AB square is equal to AD into AC so let this be equation number 1 the same way here also triangle ABC and triangle BDC so from this writing the proportionals AB by BD is equal to BC by DC is equal to AC by BC so who we are writing this as when you are taking the first two here also you need to take the corresponding two next when you take BC then correspondingly you need to take DC when you are taking AC the same way you need to take BC right now since I need BC square right so bc means here it is in the denominator here it is in the numerator now comparing these two so equating these two what we are going to get so bc into bc cross multiplication bc square is equal to dc into ac so this is nothing but equation number two so i have equation number one and equation number two now since i need ab square plus bc square so ab square plus bc square that means what i should do i need to add equation one and equation number so I am adding equation number 1 and equation number 2 then what I am going to get left hand sides will be added on the left hand side so this becomes AB square plus BC square is equal to right hand sides so they will be AD into AC plus DC into AC 
so from this on right hand side already i am having ac in both the terms when i take a, this ac as common then i am left over with ad plus dc now what is the sum of ad plus dc so if you observe this total length ad plus dc it is nothing but total length ac that means this ad plus dc i can write it as ac so ac into ac is nothing but a c square so what is the left hand side so left hand side is ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so from this what do we have proved so hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square so here since we are talking about hypotenuse hypotenuse exist in right angle triangle hence uh, this particular theorem is applicable for right angled triangles okay so whenever you are having right angle triangle you can apply this pythagoras theorem or bodhayan theorem or gogu theorem right so mostly in our 10th class textbook we are having pythagoras theorem or bodhayan theorem right so you can make use of this results so here we can have different number of results from this particular figure right now let us see so what are the results that we can obtain from this pythagoras theorem now let us see the results so if you observe so in the right angle triangle so this is nothing but my a this is b and this is c and this is right angle at b next what we have done so we have drawn a perpendicular on to ac so which is nothing but bd right now by using the similarity concept so what we said so we got one so from pythagoras theorem we got the relation what is that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so we got a relation ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so this is nothing but the first relation what we have obtained from pythagoras theorem next during the process of proving the pythagoras theorem so we have certain relations so the first relation is so we got ab square is equal to so ab square is equal to ad into ac we got the relation ab square is equal to ad into ac so this how we have obtained by the similarity of triangles so triangle abc is similar to triangle adb so by using these two triangles so we got this relation so ab square is equal to ad into ac so from this what we can say so this ab square so this this side ab into the same side ab gives me ad into ac so what i am going to get the same side ab multiplied with ab gives me so what i what i am going to get ad into so ad into this total length ac so that is what we have written here okay next moving on to the next result so the next result is so bc square is equal to so that is nothing but this side bc into again this side bc so bc into bc is nothing but equal to cd into ac so this i can write as cd into ac so this part into this total part okay so bc square is equal to cd into ac so whenever you are doing the problems so you can make use of these conditions right now how to remember this since this is my side ab so ab means so from vertex a we need to start counting the part so this is ad and this is ac so ab square is equal to ad into ac the same way for bc square so we need to start from c so cd into ac so this is nothing but one more relation that we obtain right next one more relation so it is nothing but related to bd square so bd square is nothing but equal to ad into dc so this bd square so bd square means this part so this bd square is nothing but equal to ad into dc now this cd into ac so these all are the things which we have already 
done so this we can obtain by considering the triangle abc is similar to triangle bdc the same way this result we can obtain by considering the two small triangles so we are having two some small triangles no triangle adb is similar to triangle bdc so this also we can represent here so ad by bd sorry ad by bd is equal to ab by bc is equal to db by dc so from this so this bc so when i do cross multiplication so this is dc so when i do cross multiplication this becomes bd square is equal to ad into dc ad into dc so this is what we have written here right so from this what we have got here so the first one is ab square relation we can write as ad into ac bc square we can write as cd into ac bd square i can write as ad into dc so this i can simply read it as ab square so if i want this particular ab square it is nothing but the segment the segment near this vertex a into hypotenuse bc square if you want seg segment near c into hypotenuse next bd square so this perpendicular square is nothing but equal to what we can say this segment into this segment so this segment into this segment so ad into dc so these particular parts you can make use of so whenever there is a need right so there are two more relations so which we can write here so those relations are nothing but side ab into side bc side ab into side bc is nothing but equal to the perpendicular distance bd into the hypotenuse ac so ab into bc is equal to bd into ac so this is one more relation we can make use of and next so there is one more relation so which we can make use of is 1 by bd square that means 1 by this perpendicular distance square is equal to so i can write as 1 by ab square plus 1 by bc square 1 by bd square is equal to 1 by ab square plus 1 by bc square so these are all nothing but the results so which we can get from this pythagoras theorem right so totally there are six results so these six results we can make use of during the during the solution of problems right so this result i can simply remember it as so ab into bc is equal to bd into ac so simply i can remember it as so ab into bc means this l shape only no so this l shape product so the product of this l shape is equal to so if you observe this bd perpendicular to ac you know i can consider it like t i can consider it like t so here t the top is hypotenuse and this is my perpendicular distance so you can simply remember it as this l shape product is equal to this t shape product okay next the last result is nothing but this perpendicular distance square is equal to 1 by ab square plus 1 by bc square i hope you have understood to this particular concept so you can make use of all these results right next by using these results so we are going to solve the problems in our next video okay thank you for watching the video